What's up, guys? We're back in Feed the Beast. And as Generic B would say, babe. <laughs> hope, uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, I know last time we went pretty, not well, I wouldn't say in depth. We went into, we, we just, you know, we sunk our teeth into that delicious Xenos Reliquary mod. And we talked about how I wanted to look at guns next. I did. I did before. Changed our mind. Something way cooler came along. So here's what's going on Power Armor. This is the future. Who needs a gravity suit when you can make power armor? No, I'm just kidding. Gravity suits are still really OP. But they're expensive as hell, and gravity suits are cheap. And here's what's so cool. You can customize your gravity suit to be perfectly exactly how you want it. I think that's the coolest thing ever. Also, I sound sick. It's probably because I am sick. I don't know why I'm always sick. Like, I get sick all the time. Like, I don't know what's going on. For some reason, my body's just like, screw you. I'm going to get sick. Anytime the seasons start to change, my, I just get sick. But anyway, so here's the mod. Um, from here down are all the things in it, right? So these are all the pieces of armor. Each piece of armor is pretty actually cheap to make because this, this isn't the expensive stuff. But each piece of armor takes uh, wiring, which wiring is super easy. Just redstone and gold nuggets and you get eight. So I like you can make wiring, no problem at all. So you make each piece, obviously each piece just takes iron and wiring. Super easy. And then the power tool, I don't know what that is yet. I'm going to experiment with it later because I'm still customizing my armor. Once you have all the armor, you'll need things like an ion thruster to upgrade. These are the only, I would say, somewhat expensive items here. Because if you look, if I go for the recipe, uh, it takes these two items, the force field emitter and the solenoid. The solenoid's not so expensive. It's just the wiring and iron, which is real cheap because the wiring's like plentiful, like crazy. Um, but the force field emitter, on the other hand, you got to, once you make the solenoids, combine them with um, enderpearls. So it just uh, takes takes a bit to get all these, but I think it's not too big of a deal. So what I've done is I've just made enough to get um, an upgrade for the jetpack here. So if you look over here, that you need a tinker table as well, which is still, this is really cheap. You just need one emerald. Um, I mean, that's the only expensive thing. But check it out. For one, the graphics is so cool. Other reason why I'm doing this is because I honestly believe, and I truly believe in my heart that this is going to get, um, this is going to get, uh, Greg Tech is going to come along and, uh, and put a damper on our fun. And, uh, yeah, it's going to blow. It'd be like, yo, I'm blowing this popsicle stand. I'm, uh, putting, uh, they're going to, they're going to rain on our parade, basically. That's what I think. So, before they do, I'm making power armor. So, here, check it out. Look how cool this is. So, I can go to my helmet. You can add, actually, aura meter. So, if you're, you're into that thumb, you can, you can go ham on that thumb, which is kind of cool. Uh, flight control, integrated control circuit to help you fly better. That's really, really cool. Um, and you just see what you need, right? So you need a control circuit. And then if you look, like, so say we wanted to do that, the control circuit, that's pretty basic. Look at how cheap everything is. So cheap. All right, well, back to business. Um, so we can look at some other things. Uh, water electrolyzer. When you run out of air, this module will jolt the water around you, electrolyzing a small bubble to breathe from. That's so cool. So it protects you from uh, breathing, obviously, or uh, underwater. Auto feeder. Why eat when your armor can do it for you? How OP is that shit? Come on. How OP is that? You don't have to eat? Come on. I'm getting that. That is so cool. Um, but all so far, the only thing I've made enough for is the jetpack. But I just wanted to go over some of the things. Iron plating. So, obviously, you just want to... If you just go to diamond plating, you just need to make advanced plating. And uh, you can also install a shield, I believe, which is pretty cheap. Um, but if you look, the diamond thing... Even this isn't that expensive. I mean, I just got a billion diamonds, so I can, I'm going to diamond plate all of it to upgrade it and put shields on it. Um, you can even color module it as well. You can go to custom color module, and you can uh, press shift for more info. A multicolored laser array, which can cheaply alter the appearance or something. So yeah, you can even make all your armor transparent, so it doesn't look like you're wearing armor, which is, I mean, I wouldn't do that because the power armor looks sweet. And they also have an alternative skin. I don't know what it looks like, so I'm not going to put it on because currently our armor looks pretty badass. But, so, okay, so here, here's what we're going to do. Um, keep looking over the things. So here's, this is really cool. There's a lot of movement things. Jump, sprint, assist. I think you can put them all on. So I'm slowly but surely just going to make this um, just beast mode to the max. Um, you can even put batteries. Like, look, you can put, so you can charge your things in there, which is crazy. Um, uh, shock absorber. So that's cool. That's something I would want for fall damage. And jet boots. 
So it's not as strong as jetpack, but should be it's strong enough to counteract gravity. So I guess they're less. Which is kind of dumb because these are expensive to make. You might as well just make four if you're going to make two and just put the jetpack on. So first things first, I'm going to throw the jetpack on because I've got enough. So install. I think that's it. Like it's it's already on. Oh, you can salvage it. You can get the items back. Oh, so you can, if you change your mind, I don't know how to use it. I guess if you change your mind, install modules, jetpack. Yeah, you could change your mind. How do I, I don't know how to actually jetpack around. But anyways, um, so let's click it again. Thrust. I have no thrust. I think I need to like charge it up. I can try. I can try just throwing it in this thing over here and just see if that charges it. No, I don't think it works that way. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I need a battery pack as well. Um, but anyways, I want to throw a glider on it as well. I did that. Install. So it should show me. Glider and a jetpack are installed now. That's pretty cool. Let's try out the glider. I think if you hold down... Oh. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. I'm going to have to, <laughs> have to figure it out. But apparently, there's a glider and a jetpack installed in my... In my in my uh, my chest piece here, uh, but I don't know how that works. So what I'm gonna do is pause. I'm gonna get the supplies for the rest of it. Well, some of the things that I want for like the other pieces, uh, because I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking like it'd be cool to get uh, colored stuff. I think it'd be really cool to get the some of the stuff for the helmet. Um, I think what you need to do is what I need to get is a solar generator. Which is uh, really cheap, actually. It looks like you'd think it'd be a lot. Like, just look at how cheap this mod is. Like, okay, so solar panel. Wow. That's like nothing. And then you need you need a couple of uh, these bad boys. Okay, big deal. So some, some cactus, some redstone, some gold. So I'll get that stuff and figure out what the commands or what the keys are as well to work it. And then we'll be back. All right, guys. So if I had to guess, if I had to put my Sherlock skills to the test here... I would say the problem is just that I don't have power. So what I did was I went ahead and I actually, um, it's actually quite expensive. It takes a lot of iron to make these solenoids. Um, not so much these, but to actually turn them into these, it takes a ton of solenoids, which take a ton of iron. So I've already went through two stacks of iron and like I made those four and then I managed to just, I just made eight more just because I knew I'd need them. And then I've got 24 solenoids. I made enough solar panels and control circuits to make the solar helmet, which you can see the recipe there for the things. You can see the recipe here. I got the cactus. Um, and the advanced plating, I did that because I just figured I'd upgrade at least three or four pieces. So I just wanted to test it out and just see. So if I throw a, I guess, um, I, could, I don't know what the batteries would be for, but this would store energy. I guess you could store some in your helmet as well. I'm not sure. Um, integrate a more advanced battery to store more. Ooh, and then there's an elite. How much do, how much do, what's this, HV capacitor, that's all you need for an elite battery. How much, what are, what are those? What? Is that how inexpensive it is for the best battery? That's like, cost nothing. How much is it for, uh, so why wouldn't you just go with elite? Integrate at the most advanced battery store, extensive. So how much is it to, you just need them. okay, so low, medium, and high. So let's look at them. The low, oh yeah, is super cheap. Medium is a little bit more expensive. That's, for right now, I could make that. That's so cheap. So we can put a battery in there too. Let's try that. But first, let's just put in our solar generator. Install. Okay. So that's installed, apparently. Solar generator. Oh, it's nighttime. So that's not going to help us. Um, so while it's nighttime, um, okay, this can also hold a battery as well. So that's kind of cool. Energy shield. What do those cost? Oh, two force field emitters. Much lighter than plating, but consume energy. Okay, so diamond plating would be more. So I, I'm going to wait before I do any kind of plating or energy shields. Here's why. I want to get your guys' opinion because plating, um, advanced plating is lighter, harder, and more protective than basic, but much harder to make. So, okay, well, diamond plating is not that much. So I need to know whether I should use the energy shield and it takes energy or if I should just not use the energy shield and use all the energy for things like jetpacks and gliders and stuff like that. I need to, I'll wait before I do the plating or the shields.
Uh, but you can also get it back at any time. You can install and then uninstall, I'm pretty sure. And the diamond plating for me is worth is nothing. Emit a hologram of your surroundings to make yourself more... That's so cool. Whoa, I don't even know what that is, but I want that. Hologram of your surroundings to make yourself almost imperceptible. Whoa, I want that. I can already... I already have these ingredients. Well, I have to get the hologram emitters. Let's see what those cost. Hologram emitters. Pretty cheap. And then more. Two of those I have. And what's the third thing? Oh, there's special for each piece has a special. So the 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 pants actually have a special of battery, so I could use their special for the battery on the pants. Oh, I see. Very cool. Okay, we need to see what this is. This looks really cool. Oh, I need two more control circuits. Um, I just want to look again what the recipe for those are. I think I have everything in my inventory to make some more. Let's try here. So I believe it's cactus green here, gold here, um, wiring here, red glowstone here, and redstone here. I can actually make six of these. These are actually quite expensive, so let's just make the eight for now. Not expensive, they're just, um, you know, they're just a bit. And then we need the hologram emitters, which are cool. So I just need some glass, which I think I have, yep. Like this. Glass. Um, cactus green in the corner. So, hey, look, these are, like, really inexpensive if you take into consideration, like, what you need. Oh, and you know what's lucky? I actually have, sitting right here, a bunch of red dye. Which I don't know why I had it. But I do, and I've got a little more. And daytime's coming around, so maybe I can charge up my jetpack now. I hope so. I don't really know how... The charging and stuff works without those crystals, man. What's up with that? They just destroy you. I don't know how to charge and make these work. But whatever. I'm going to just upgrade for now. I'll figure that out later. And then oh, these crystals are so annoying. <laughs> figure that out later. So, okay. So now that we've got the die, let's go in and make our hologram emitters. I'm excited to see what that does. That sounds crazy. Uh, so we'll go. Red dye here, cactus green up here. I have the worst memory. Like I, have, my short term's horrible. Like just looking at this, I have to keep like looking for each piece. Glowstone and then, okay, lapis and then glowstone. You need four, and then I should make like another four, just because you never know what I'll need them for. I'm always making extra. So let's go. Let's throw it on. Um. Ooh, it's installed. I don't know how to activate any of it, but it's on there. <laughs> I've got active camouflage. Got solar. I think we need a battery because, yeah, there's nothing to store the power. Like, we need to make an elite battery. And actually, I'm going to put elite batteries in, in all of them if I can. Like, I don't know how many things you can have in one. But we need to make a bunch of these high voltage things. So, glowstone, glass, and ender pearl. I need to go grab some more glass as well. Um, I'm thinking that's what it is. The solar panel is there, ready to grab energy, but without a battery, uh, that's the problem. It's like, yo, there's nowhere to store the energy. That would make the most sense to me. So now that we've got glass, uh, we'll just make a couple. We'll make like three of these, which are relatively cheap. Uh, actually, super cheap. Oops. I can't believe, like, look at the high voltage, meaning you get the best battery, is this cheap to make. And holy crap. Um, I get just so excited here, and I'm so focused. Can't, here we go. I guess four would be the most you'd need. So now let's throw, um, I guess an elite battery here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know how many things you can stack. Like, if we could put one in each piece. The special for the pants is a battery, so we'll put one there. I'll try one here too. Pants. I think each piece might need its own battery. I'm not sure, but like you, I mean, I, I, just, I think you might as well just throw it in all of them. Each piece now has its own battery. So I'm in the corner. I see some numbers. Um, energy. It's all full. 
And that means because it's full, I'm invisible now as well. But while you're... Oh, here's something that's really neat. Okay, so say you did the invisible, which was the hologram, which was pretty expensive. You see the... Um, in this, you see the active camouflage. If you were to go in your tinker table and you use the cosmetic uh, transparent armor for all of them, you would technically be always 100% invisible, which is really cool. Although I'm not going to use it. I think it looks really cool that I'm just armor, but that is so, so interesting. And if you ever were like, oh, I don't like the invisibility, you could just go ahead, click here. You could click your active camouflage and you could salvage and get everything back. So this is completely customizable whenever you want. That is so cool. Um, press sneak plus forward while falling to activate. Okay. How do I jetpack? Allow you to jump indefinitely or at least until you run out of power. Huh. I can't jump indefinitely. Let's try. Oh, the glider's working. Whoa, that is cool. Can just glide. We need to definitely get the fall boots on, though. That's one thing. Jetpack is cool. I should be able to jump indefinitely. The power is full. I don't know if the glider takes over the jetpack. Let me try taking out the glider and see if it will work. Because I'm not sure how that works. But I'm pretty sure if I salvage it, I'll get them back. Now it's just got the jetpack and the camouflage. Now it's still not working. Alright, whatever. I'll put the glider back on for now. I didn't know. I don't know how that all works, but whatever. Jet thrust. Okay, so it's not getting any thrust here, looks like. Um, jet thrust on. Jet energy consumption zero. Mm. I have to figure that out. There should be a battery in it. Yeah, there is a battery in it. Camouflage is in it. Alright, well anyway, so I'll wait for you guys for the shield thing. So let's move on. Now we're going to install some upgrades probably here to our... Uh, I, I don't know if I need jet boots. Maybe you need the jet boots as well. We can install anything and just try it out because we can get everything back. Uh, we need to make some more of these ding-dongs, unfortunately, the ion thrusters. Um, which aren't too bad. I'll just do this. And this. Uh, make a couple more here. I don't have that much. I can just make two of them. And glowstone is in the middle and these. We'll just take them back. If this doesn't work. Hopefully you don't need too much for these. No, you don't. You just need cert. Oh, you actually do for some of them. I would never put a swim boost on unless I had like it was way later on or something. Um, but okay, so let's try putting on uh, on the pant or on the thing here a sorry the feet a jet boost. Shock absorber is cool too, which is really cheap as well. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not sure what the deal is with the boots and stuff. I can't get them to do anything. The boots. I can only get the glider to work, so that's really weird. And these are really annoying. Sulfur goo. Um, so whatever. I'll just get those back. We'll put the shock absorber on later. I mean, we've got elite batteries on everything. Um, so we'll want, like, jump assist. That'd be cool. Servo motors are pretty cheap. Generate power with your movement. That's pretty cool as well. So you just get power from the sun. Integrated control circuit to help you fly better. That'd be pretty cool. That's the, or night vision. Auto feeder. A water electrolyzer. Oh my goodness. There's so many things. They all have batteries. Which is good. Um, hmm. Let the sun power your adventures. We've already got that. Auto feeder. Let's try an auto feeder. So, because that's pretty cheap. We just need to make a couple of these. Which are real cheap. Um, we just need more iron here. Yeah, the, the, the auto... Um, are these things here? The servo motors are like dirt cheap. Well, 
You need these, but make six of them. And we can install that. Efficiency, eating, energy consumption. Wow. So now we don't even need to eat anymore. And let's see. Let's see here. We'll do the color stuff after. We want to make the armor just our own thing first. Flight control I might install. Try that. Just to maybe help me. I'm not sure how the flight works, but install that. Now, wasn't there one, I think it's the pants, yeah, who have the kinetic thing. I've installed that. So now, walking will produce energy as well. We've got we've got energy from, as you can see, our solar generator. We've got energy from um, walking, the kinetic generator. These are all full, apparently. We've got a glider, jetpack, and elite battery in all of them. I, don't, I still don't know how to fly, but once I figure that out, then we'll come back. All right, guys, so I finally figured it out. Are you ready? So basically, you have to put your, how much you want here. So I'll put it like, you know, you, how much energy you want to use. And I, I, I took away the glider because when testing the jetpack, the glider is kind of like a cheaper version when you don't have a jetpack. You don't even need it. Um, yeah. So, and I also put on the uh, the shock absorbers on my boots, which, um, yeah, took up energy, but everything's got the max battery. I think it should be okay. Um, and later on, I mean, I've got flight control as well. Later on, I might put on, like, night vision or something. But pretty much everything's, like, got, like, the max, I guess you could say. Except for the armor. I'm just waiting. I'll read your comments to see whether it's uh, energy efficient to use the energy shield or just diamond plating. And, I'll, and I'm interested. But here's here's how it goes. So once I have max my jetpack, you can see I can just fly around, like, no problem. Like, actually, just, uh, I can just sit there. You see, like, no problem. Just fly around. I don't know how much energy um, it takes up to be using, but it looks like it's just staying full. So I'm not really, I don't think I ever have to worry about energy. Like it's just staying full all the time. Um, you can see, like I could just zoom because I, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, look, 750k out of 750k. Because I have the movement uh, on, Whenever I whenever I go, I just... I don't know. It's just it's fine all the time because when I move I produce energy. Look at how look at how OP this is. Like I just fly around like so fast. Why would you want a gravity suit? Like look at this. I don't know. And my boots produce that. Like my boots um help me and then look you can see it went down by 1 from from landing. And it'll just charge up again from moving like look oh here i'll move and look i even sprint faster which i don't even have the sprint boost on i don't know if that's my jetpack doing that or what but see moving right there charge it up again so just by moving charges up my uh my feet so that when i fall i don't get hurt and i also have a parachute which i can just uh i can just shift to go down like that when i get close to the ground i could just do that so it doesn't use up the the feet is really cool. It's really fun to fly. I took away the glider though, yeah, because there's no point. But I feel like all I have to do, the the beautiful thing about having a parachute on with a jetpack, and this is something I recommend if you're going to make power armor on your feed the beast. Um, the only reason I would say is because when you don't have a parachute, like you can just you can just hover with the jetpack too, which is cool, right? You can just hover. Um, but when you have parachute, anytime you click shift, it instantly stops you. So whatever momentum, because it's going to put you into parach parachute mode, right? So whatever momentum you might have had while falling, you just right before the ground, hit shift, and then hit forward, and you land nice and safe. So also the jetpack, um, another thing to recommend is uh, you can see how I've got it here um, for my power, 75%. I think that's the best a little bit. I mean, you can, I'll show you max, like I'll max it here. Um, you can max it, no problem. But it's like almost too, too fast. But I mean, I don't think I have a problem with energy, but I think 75, like, see, it's like, it's too, it's really hard to control. So I'm going to go with, uh, back to 75% here, 120. I have it at, which is nice. That's perfect. I think 
Um, but this is so cool, guys. So yeah, next episode, I want to get into the Xenos Reliquary guns. I know Unhost did it. You guys were commenting last time. I'm sorry this episode was so, like, derpy all over the place. But, like, look at this. I can just sit there and mine. Just hang out. Full energy, everything. This is really overpowered. Really great. Um, I'm having so much fun with this. It's so cool. So, yeah. I'm just going to hang out. I can, like, mine. I'm going to, next episode, um, try to get all the speed boosts and things. Like, if you look at the... Because I don't have the jump assist. I mean, I don't even think you need that stuff once you have the jetpack. I don't think the jump... The sprint, maybe. But... Uh, I don't think you need any of this stuff, honestly. Once you have the jetpack, I don't think any of it's necessary, but... I'm just sipping my coffee here. I would want to do the shields, so I'm going to wait on the comments from you guys to see what I should do for the shields. Maybe night vision. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but everything else is pretty much max. So, I mean, I could be infinitely invisible if I wanted as well. Um, if I decided to go uh, transparent armor on all of them. Let's just see. Let's just test and see if I have enough hologram emitters. I do have four. Let's try it. So if I say I went invisible on all. Transparent armor. Because you can just uninstall. So this is what it would be like. All the time. Invisible. That's kind of cool. And let's see if I go options. Video settings. Particles. All. It's going to get rain sound. I didn't even think it gives off particles. Oh yeah, it does give off invisibility particles. How crazy is that though, guys? Oh, I didn't mean to go here. Um, so, let me just go. I don't know if I like that though, because I kind of want to color it. Um, I did that so that it would go off. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like that. I might just... Uh, I, might, I might just color it instead. I think that'd be cooler. Um... I think color module, you can do it too. Oh yeah, let's color it right now, actually. Color. 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 Install. What? Do I not have, did I not get enough back? Oh, there's, maybe there's a percentage that you don't get it back. Hmm, that's strange. Oh well. Okay, so, oh cool, you can just, uh, wow, that's really cool. You just, you can just color it like that. That's really neat. Really cool. Alright, so by next time, I'll have my colors picked that I want. Um, and that's going to be really fun, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next time, let's get into the guns. Let's do a little bit more with these power armors. Make sure I customize it, and I'll tinker with it until I really just find my perfect combo. So far. I mean, look at this. Look how fun this is. Come on. I'm just floating. No problem. Alright, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry about my sick voice. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.